right, so today we're off to Breen Down. Uh, we're going to fish it uh, about three to three and a half hours up to high water and about three hours down. We're going to be mainly targeting um, format rays and we're going to hopefully go for the bass as well. Uh, baits we'll be using is mainly squid. We will be using some bluey and some mackerel as well. Um, or and some sand deal will be taken. Um, I will take some frozen peeler for hopefully for the bass. We're going today with uh, Dean, Dean Francis from Fish and Tells. Um, also, I think he coming along with Dean is Jacob and also Rich. So it'd be nice to meet all of those. So hopefully we'll have a real good time there. Uh, the only other thing really is safety really. Um, I wouldn't recommend going to this mark if you've never been there or fished there before. Don't go there if you're not very stable on your feet. It is very sort of at times uncomfortable fishing. Um, we're on a bit of a neap tide at the moment so if it's more of a spring it's alright because you can get right up on the grass bank. Um, and fish quite comfortably there but if you're not very fit don't take a lot of gear scale right down which is what we should have done but obviously next time we go I think I'll remember to do that only really fished it in the winter before for the cod so um, we'll have a good go uh, obviously today and um, if we do alright we'll probably be back in the summer months as well Not sure whether Jack's got, a, Jack's got a fish on. Bass, do you say? Oh yeah. Well done, Jack. So Jack's into the first fish. Nice little bass. What bait was that one, Jack? Just a small Well done. Just putting his bass back. Full. 40 centimetres. And uh, just gonna send him off. He's got actually no um, top dorsal fin at all, it's all been ripped off, so whether it's been caught in a net. There he goes. Deciding to go. That's it, he's gone. Dean's had a little bit of a knock. Just uh, see where we're if there's anything on there. No. The bait span up, so whether it was that the bait or was that a bit weed up there? That's, so it's probably a little conga you had on there, wasn't it? So it looks like Jack. Just come off! What was it? No, it's just come off a little bass. Looks like Jacob's probably got a ray on. Do you think it's a ray, do you, Jake? Yeah, it's just a full sat line. So. What bait was that on? Well, that's handy because that's just what I've just set up for my next one. Yeah. <laughs> Kiting him right over this way, isn't he? Yeah, I think it is. No, it is a ray. Do you want to wind your slack in?
Well done, mate. <laughs> there you go. Jacob's into another fish. I believe it is on a free up flap. Did you say it's free up flap you got on this one? Excellent. So it can be anything now. Yeah. It's a nice pull down bike. I know, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> You're too busy on your phone. Yeah, I'm watching these live. Huh? <laughs> Do you um, have your drag set then? Uh, it depends what I'm doing, but not normally, yeah, I don't. That's it, just in case. Yeah. yeah. It is clear, yeah. Low tide, isn't it? <coughs> Another way. On the hermit crab, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, Nicely cool. hooked that one as well. Just seen Dean's rod bent right over. Good bite, Dean. It's not come off, is it? <laughs> Do you want me to hold your other rod out of the way? So I'll just pause it for a minute and then uh, we'll hopefully come back to you when you've got the fish on. This is, this is not the rod that's stuck in with the ray on. We're just clearing this rod out of the way. And then we're going to move around a bit to try and uh, get the ray in. So we'll be back to you in a minute. When I was around, when I was around with all the excitement with Dean, he's just snapped off on that ray. Um, I didn't hear Jack, but Jack was calling me as I'm just walking back around the rocks now. He's got another little scooty, I'll get closer to it in a minute. What bait was that on then, Jack? Uh, just on a bluey head. Oh, bluey head, is it? Yeah, it's going for a ray. Oh, well done. Nice to see. At least that one's got his dorsal fin. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Getting back. Getting back. I'll just grab a photo first of getting back. Getting back. So we've been fishing now for about three hours. We've all had to split up a little bit because of um, where to get to on the rocks because of the tide pushing us up. So it's a lovely backdrop. I'm just coming around now to what is Sprat Bay. And Steep Home. Steep Home in the distance. And Jack's just, oh, you might be able to see some of Jack's rod just there. I think he's just about to cast out. Jack so far has had two bass, around 40 centimetres. Um, Dean um, has had, to, to my knowledge at the moment, he's had one conger and lost a ray right, right in close, got caught into the rocks. 
Jacobs had at the moment I think three rays. Um, Rich I don't think has had anything yet, uh, same as me. Um, we'll see what happens. We're obviously going to fish it right up in a good couple of hours down. And depending what happens, we might carry on and fish till low. Um, but like I say, because they are. Oh. I Dean could have another fish on. Don't know if you can make that out, but I see his rod bending in that in the distance. Don't think I'll be able to get around to where he is now. Too much climbing all up and over. I'll try and get a bit closer so I do believe he has got a fish on. I've only had the one bite which was on a uh, Peter crab, frozen crab, which didn't come to nothing. There. Got a codlin, I think. Is that a codlin? Oh, dogfish, I think. Hold up! <laughs> well done. And as you can see, he's just had a dog fish. Well, I'll get back to my rods and make sure get back to you with fish. Take him! <laughs> Jacob! <laughs> so Jack's into another fish. Oh, Conga Jack! Well done, mate. Got him in? I'll come over for a photo a minute, Jack. Oh, well done. Take a picture on your phone. Dean's into another fish. <laughs> Stay deep, isn't it? Ah, nice ray, well done. Excellent. Well done, Dean, hold it up a minute. Excellent, well done. So we just had a run on this one. Coming in, all right? Yeah. 
first proper fish, first proper um, bite. Jack, do you want to take the camera over there? This is how we pass sweets on fishing. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Winding that one in. Just wearing that one in and then I got a bite on this one. Yep, fish on. Doesn't feel very big, whatever it is. If it is a ray, it's going to be smaller than the last oh, one. Bungle or bass? Swimming right up there. Bass. Oh, now you're starting to go. Oh, that's a nice one, Jack. Wait there, get him onto the rocks. Then stand behind him. Wait there, Jack, and clip the clip. Is it so Dean's just had another ray. Can't quite get round to catch him, catching the fish because it's uh, we are cut off right around the corner there, so it's a bit hard to get round. Hold him up, mate. So how many is that you've had now? Third one. Third ray, well done. Lovely one, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Another ray, you think, yeah? Yeah, you got to pull them right up, haven't you? <laughs> Last stretch now. Excellent. It's not easy to land it on these rocks, is it? You're down to the one rod as well now, are you? Yeah, I just can't land this flat and only get two rods. Yeah. Well done, mate. Somebody out for a kayak uh, ride. Should have brought a rod with him. Just had another pull down bite on this one. So definitely on there. I would say it's a ray. What would you say, Jack? 
right is your last one. Quite enough. <coughs> Start the fight now. Oh, I don't know if this is a radar. I reckon it's another bass. Um, where can you get there? No, it's not. Um, this could throw the hook, so just go the other side of the, my rod rest mate Jack. Just grab the trace and pull it in. I'll let some line off. Sorry, I'll let line off. Well done mate. Well done. Right, we'll have a look at E, weigh him and see we get E back. Just had another, just literally cast this one back out with another little squid on it. Yeah, we just got another, we got another fish on here, Jack. It's heavier than the last bar, so whether it's a, a ray. Gone to grind. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let him line off now. See if he swim out. It's definitely nice fish on here. I'll stop filming for a minute and I'll come back to you if we uh, manage to get this one in. I've managed to get this out the snag, and it was another bass, I believe. Oh, there's a doggy. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's, got your it's not got my line. That's probably why it's pulled in the snag then, because I've pulled in against another line. But anyway, a dogfish. Let's get here nuts. Got a ray on it. Oh, it's come. Look how far out it's come up on the surface. Well, at least it's not going to get caught in the rocks. It's not over your line, is it? No. Sure. Yeah. Not good over yours now. Well, that popped up sort of 80 yards out, didn't it? Another little fall back. They've all been quite small today, haven't they? But still, it's fish. Not done a bit, isn't it? I'd say probably a congo or a bass then. <laughs> That's the good thing about this water, isn't it? You can't you can't tell until it comes right up. <laughs> yeah. Well done, mate.
can see this. <laughs> Have you got a fish on, haven't you? Ah. <laughs> I rushed across here to film. Yeah, he said. Yes. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Just here. I see he's poaching your fish. Cut it here and I'll um, come back to him when he's a bit closer. Well done, Jacob. Well done, mate. Feels a bit better than the last ones, Jack. Array. But it feels a bit bigger. And that's just because the tide's going out, isn't it? So. Could be a tide run. Oh, it's caught in. I got him. Well, he went to grain then, but look, he got him back out. Yeah. He's a bit bigger, already, Jack. That's all right. So it's just about come to the end of the day today. It was good to meet um, Dean, Jacob and Richard. And I think they've all had a good time. We've all caught fish. And um, yeah, we're going to plan to go out again somewhere else. I think everybody's enjoyed it. So um, hopefully catch you on the next one. Mm. What is it, a little conga? Right, let him go then. So there you go. That's going to be the last fish of the day. Jack's got winders in yet. We'll unlock this one, step him back. And then hopefully we'll see you on the next one.